So the five locations that I think are important for uh, River Phoenix in his life. Number one would be Madras, Oregon. And that's where River Phoenix was born. His parents were uh, hippies. They had sort of dropped out of society. They were working on a peppermint farm. Actually, at the time, it was River Jude Bottom. And uh, the river came from Siddhartha, uh, the novel by Herman Hesse. And Jude came from uh, Hey Jude by the Beatles. The number two location would be Caracas, Venezuela. Uh, River Phoenix's family uh, moved down as uh, part of a, uh, a cult called the Children of God and uh, he spent uh, roughly the ages of uh, four to eight uh, on the streets of uh, Caracas, uh, and uh, he and his sister would uh, be uh, proselytizing, uh, you know, sort of uh, trying to get people to join this religious organization. Uh, they would be uh, playing their guitar, they'd be busking, and if uh, they got enough uh, loose change, then the family could afford to buy food to eat that night. So the number three location, I would say, for River Phoenix's life would be Gainesville, Florida. Uh, River's family had uh, moved back to uh, the United States. Uh, they had gone to Hollywood for a while where he had been working and doing movies, um, but they were feeling that you know, it was just sort of like it was a corrupted place, that you know, it was sort of like you know, it was sinful, it was materialistic, it was uh, not you know, sort of connected to the val values the family had. Uh, number four location for uh, River Phoenix's life would be uh, Portland, Oregon. Uh, he was uh, living there when he was filming uh, my own private Idaho, and specifically uh, Gus Van Sant's house uh, where he lived. They just sort of moved in with sort of, you know, like they bought like futons and sleeping bags and musical instruments, and they would, you know, sort of like, uh, you know, sort of make the movie during the day, and then they would jam sessions for hours at night. Keanu Reeves was there and many of the other actors in the movie. Uh, this is also apparently where River started, you know, sort of experimenting more with drugs and you know, getting into that world. So it was a turning point for him. The number five location for uh, River Phoenix's life would be the last night of his life, uh, the Viper Room. Uh, you know, sort of it had only been open for a couple of months when he went there, but it was sort of getting sucked back into Hollywood. He sometimes called it the bad, bad town. Uh, because, you know, whenever he went there, he would fall prey to indulgences and he would be using drugs. Um, and that was a night where he had you know, a misadventure that ended up with him on the sidewalk, you know, in the end of his life.